My name is Damien Bonazzoli of DaytonaGuitar.com, your home for mastering the guitar. Now today's lesson, I'm not going to play too much. I just want to talk a little bit about goal setting and I want to throw some math at you. That's right, math. As an aspiring musician, you should always have specific goals in mind regarding where you want to go and how you're going to get there. So with that in mind, let's talk about the mathematics of shred. As I see it, every self-respecting shred guitarist should be able to play, at a minimum, between 9 and 12 notes per second. Wait, did he say 12 notes per second? That's right, I did. And it's not as crazy as it sounds. Check this out. Anybody that's studied with me knows that I think that the humble metronome is the single greatest practice tool ever. Now remember, a metronome clicks at a certain number of beats per minute. So if your metronome is set really slow, say at 60 beats per minute, well, if there are 60 seconds in a minute, guess what? 60 beats in a minute, 60 seconds in a minute, that's one beat per second. And of course, very few songs move at 60 beats per minute. It's just too slow. A more realistic tempo might be 120 beats per minute, which, if you've been paying attention to the math, 120 equals 60 times 2, that's actually 2 beats per second. Now, let's think about how we divide and subdivide rhythmic groupings. In standard 4-4 time, a quarter note gets one beat. One, two, three, four, just like that. And there are two eighth notes per beat. One and two and, just like that. Triplet eighth notes have three notes per beat. One triplet, two triplet, and so forth. And sixteenth notes have four notes per beat. One e and a, two e and a, three e and a, and so forth. Here's where it gets fun. If the metronome, or your favorite drummer, is laying it down at 120 beats per minute, remember, that's two beats per second, like we said. And if you're playing steady sixteenth notes, that's four notes per beat. Four notes per beat, but if there are two beats every second, guess what? That's a total of eight notes per second. Two beats times four notes per beat, two times four equals eight. That's pretty cool, and it gives us our magical musical formula of the day. The number of notes per second equals the number of beats per second times the number of notes within a single beat. So again, if you have two beats per second times four notes per beat, 2 times 4 equals 8 notes per second. Now what about those 9 to 12 notes per second that every true shredder should aspire to? Well, if like we said, 16th notes are 4 notes per beat, how many beats per second will we need to get those 12 notes per second? The answer is 3, because 3 times 4 equals 12. So how do we get 3 beats per second? Well, if 60 beats per minute equals 1 beat per second, and 120 beats per minute equals 2 beats per second, then you got it. Crank that metronome up to 180 beats per minute. A good fast rock song. And 180 beats in a minute equals 3 beats every second. So if you're running 16th notes at 180 beats per minute, you're cranking out those 12 notes per second. Now, quick point. The same kind of math works for any other rhythmic subdivision. So if you're playing triplets, remember that's 3 notes per beat, and you're playing at 180 beats per minute, three beats per second, you're actually playing nine notes per second. That's three notes per beat times three beats per second. Three times three equals nine notes per second. Okay, take a deep breath. And let's get back to goal setting. When you're practicing songs, scales, leads, whatever, it might be helpful to think of being able to run different passages at certain metronome settings. And of course, when you're drilling your scales or arpeggios, you can try focusing on either triplets or sixteenth notes at anywhere between 120 to 180 beats per minute. Eventually, you'll work your way up to sixteenth notes at 180 beats per minute, and you'll be in shredland, 12 notes in a single second. Any questions? Good. That, my friends, is your Daytona Guitar Tip of the Day. Thanks for listening. Practice hard, and be sure to check out DaytonaGuitar.com, your home for mastering the guitar. One more thing. If you've got a smartphone, you never have to be away from your metronome. Now, if you'll excuse me, i got some practicing to do.